Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take an in-depth look at the 1994 Buick Roadmaster Estate Wagon. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Estate Wagon. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at my family's dealership, Car Connections Incorporated, in Reedsville, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. The exterior color is known as light driftwood with a full brown leather interior. It's got 88,000 miles on it. Beautiful. It does have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. I actually put this leather steering wheel cover on because over time, the actual leather on the steering wheel um, discolored, so it just looks a little bit better. Very smooth power assisted steering. Comes down with the GM's Turbo Hydromatic 4L60-E automatic transmission with an electronic overdrive. Shift smooths, nice and strong, with a good amount of reliability. And we're going to cut on the headlamps. They are automatic, as well as the hazards. Automatic driver's side window. And we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? Unlike the Buick Roadmaster sedan, the estate wagon is basically a rebadged version of the Chevrolet Caprice Classic wagon, with the unique interior characteristic to the Roadmaster. Low front end, forward facing look, with the full vinyl wood wrap, giving the characteristic of a traditional station wagon. You also have side cornering lamps located here upon activation of the turn signal. Your signature Buick waterfall grille. And the chrome accenting specific to the Roadmaster. Small styling lines in the hood, meeting into the tops of the grille. You can see the sedan's unique, larger, more prominent and flattened front end. In the driver's perspective, it actually makes it look like a larger vehicle versus the round off characteristics in the Caprice. Also, the unique rear end. Definitely makes it look different. Long, smooth side paneling with the seamless vinyl wrap going all the way around the back and accented by these other contrasting panels. This vehicle obviously does not have the original factory wheels. These are 15 inch chrome aluminum alloys. A couple of the other options for the Roadmaster include these full chrome wire wheel covers as well as a set of aluminum alloy wheels. It does come standard with anti-lock disc brakes on these Uniroyal tires and these specific tires measuring 235.70. Beautiful profile traipsing onto a more rounded off rear end. Fender skirts going across the rear wheels. place to put your fuel cap. Integrated luggage rack. And the standard Vista roof. Give the rear occupants a little bit more of a open experience. Also, 94 was the last year of these side attached mirrors. In 95, they integrated them across the side as you can see here. Total length for the estate wagon is around 217.7 inches with a width of 79.9 inches and a height of 60.3 inches with total curb weight around 4,572 pounds.
has a very wide prominent rear end. Full factory dual exhaust setup. Then pop the hood. The Roadmaster Estate in 1994 got quite a horsepower jump from the 1993 model year as did the other B-body sedans and wagons. It now featured GM's 5.7 liter 350 cubic inch LT1 V8, getting a whopping 80 more horsepower than the previous generation and now produced 260 at 5,000 RPM and 330 foot-pounds of torque at 3,200 RPM. 0 to 60 miles an hour is around 8.4 seconds with a top speed of 139 miles an hour. Quarter mile time is around 16.4 seconds at around 86 miles an hour. And with a 23 gallon fuel tank running on regular unleaded gas, the Roadmaster Estate achieves an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating of 16 city, 25 highway. And just as they used to tout back in the commercials in the day, the Roadmaster Estate is definitely probably one of the more luxurious wagons you could buy in the domestic market back in the day. This particular trim is the up level from the base, whereas one more step above this, the Limited, you get a specific style of seating with full power adjustment as well as heat. That's pretty much the difference. This one has all of the other standard features that come with the Limited, except that extra seating package. Your faux wood grain trim going across the sides, chrome accented, carpeted lower storage, power windows, power mirrors, power seat control, your power sliding and tilting function, and your power locks. Like I said, the seats are power sliding and tilting with manual recline. They're very soft and provide a reasonable amount of support, but often for the limited package you get lumbar, which I highly recommend for these vehicles for long trips. And just for a little compare and contrast, here is the limited interior from my 1995 Roadmaster sedan. The back seat, I'll talk about a little bit later, is different between the sedan and the wagon, just varying styles. But you can see how it's a much more smoother tone, a little bit more rounded, and you can see the power adjustments and heated seat function. Vast floor panel, easy enough for three passengers up front to stretch out. Your power wiper control for the rear, as well as activation um, or opening of your rear glass. You also have a manually tilting steering wheel. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Gotta love that loud burly sound of that LT1 V8. Definitely a torque monster. Then shut her up. The vehicle comes standard with a Delco AM FM cassette deck. CD player was an option. Pretty good amount of sound quality. It does come equipped with the Concert 2 sound audio speakers. Your various equalizer adjustments, radio modes, presets, seek, and it's all pretty basic with your balance and fade located on these toggle switches over here. Oh, yeah. 
broad flat dash. It's also padded. It's a nice luxury feel. Auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated reading lamps. Electronic climate control. Also very simple to use. Your different zones. It is one touch automatic. Front defrost, rear defrost, and defogging. Fan speed. The vents are also chrome accented. This vehicle also has the base Dynaride suspension. The softest setting where you can opt for a grand touring suspension for a little bit tighter handling. These are big vehicles though, so it's not necessarily like a sports car. Storage tray. As well as your power outlet and ashtray down below. Cup holders with chain storage. And storage back there for either CDs or cassettes. And there's also padded leather. Fold this up, and it reveals the middle portion out to fit a smaller third person with seat belts. So we're going to shut her down. And let's go and check out the back seat. Same styling themes in the front, trapes onto the back. Little ashtrays. The back seat is also in a little bit different styling than the sedan counterparts, just being that this actually folds down completely and I'll show it when I get to the mechanism on the other side. But it is also quite soft. You have the Vista roof. Coat hooks, sun shades for the roof, and we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Definitely the coolest thing about these wagons though is how the back is configured. I mean, these wagons have been operating in pretty much the same fashion for 30, 40, I don't know, 50 years, something like that. But basically, you can open it as a door and expand the absolutely massive amount of cargo space. Or, there's another handle here to open it down into a tailgate. The ultimate in versatility. There's also an integrated third row seat. Pull up on this latch here, releases it, and then you flip it back. So this vehicle is a true eight passenger vehicle, many of which today's full size SUVs handle. As you can see, you do have some accent lighting, so you have better visibility in the back. Spare tire and jack stowage. Manually activated side vents for ventilation in the rear. Not to mention a locking storage cabinet. Bring the seat down. Locks back and then grab this, flip it over, and you're good to go. Now if we fold this middle seat down, by pushing in that button, you can see just the sheer vastness of the interior. It's actually quite impressive.
You have the same manual as well as um, power adjustments on the passenger seat that you do the drivers. Modest glove box, a couple tiered options, special place for your owner's manual. Definitely an American classic. The full size V8 rear wheel drive station wagons. With the power of the LT1 under the hood, it'll definitely scoot as well. Definitely a classic and quite a cool advantage for those who don't want a full size SUV nor need it. Not to mention the towing capacity of these vehicles can reach up to upwards of, I think, of around 5,000 pounds. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at the 1994 Buick Roadmaster Estate Wagon. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.